the story of the first butterflies. The great spirit thought, by and by I will make men, but first I will make a home for them. It shall be very bright and beautiful. There shall be mountains and prairies and forests, and about it all shall be the blue waters of the sea. As the great spirit had thought, so he did. He gave the earth a soft cloak of green. He made the prairies beautiful with flowers. The forests were bright with birds of many colors, and the sea was the home of wonderful sea creatures. My children will love the prairies, the forests, and the seas, he thought, but the mountains look dark and cold. They are very dear to me, but how shall I make my children go to them and so learn to love them? Long the great spirit thought about the mountains. At last, he made many little shining stones. Some were red, some blue, some green, some yellow, and some were shining with all the lovely colors of the beautiful rainbow. All my children will love what is beautiful, he thought, and if I hide the bright stones in the seams of the rocks of the mountains, men will come to find them, and they will learn to love my mountains. When the stones were made and the great spirit looked upon their beauty, he said, I will not hide you all away in the seams of the rocks. Some of you shall be out in the sunshine, so that the little children who cannot go to the mountains shall see your colors. Then the south wind came by, and as he went, he sang softly a forest flecked with light and shadow, of birds and their nests in the leafy trees. He sang of long summer days and the music of waters beating upon the shore. He sang of the moonlight and the starlight. All the wonders of the night, all the beauty of the morning, were in his song. Dear South Wind, said the Great Spirit, here are some beautiful things for you to bear away with, you to your summer home. You will love them, and all the little children will love them. At these words of the Great Spirit, all the stones before him stirred with life and lifted themselves on many colored wings. They fluttered away in the sunshine, and the South Wind sang to them as they went. Illustration So it was that the first butterflies came from a beautiful thought of the Great Spirit, and in their wings were all the colors of the shining stones that he did not wish to hide away.